Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Got a little job shop project for you today from a local irrigation district. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, when they're putting in new housing developments, at the ends of them where they're going to expand, they put two inch flushes. And when they go to pressure test, they put caps on them. Sometimes these will be recessed down the ground about a foot in like a five inch hole, a five and a quarter inch hole, and there's, it's impossible to get a tool on it to use it as a flush. So what we're gonna do, take some of this tubing, I'm gonna cut it off clean. And all modern caps typically have these two ears. We'll drill and tap on opposite sides some uh, bolts, and I'll put them in the lathe and really shave the head down. So this wall is not, it's, you know, it's quarter wall. There won't be much side pressure against it, so there won't be much fear of them breaking, but just for clearance reasons. And then we'll, you know, lop this off, get a clean cut, make it about that deep, uh, do our drill and tapping, weld a piece to it and weld it to like a normal key, like a street key. Uh, like a one inch pipe with a handle on top. Let's get this in the saw and let's get this knocked out real quick. Okay, we got the piece of pipe in the saw. Gonna cut a clean edge. Then we'll cut like a two inch section. Look, we're utilizing the last project. Very, it's, <laughs> I wish I'd made that a lot easier. Made setup for this very quick. So, yeah, let me get uh, this piece cut and uh, move it forward, cut another piece, then we'll go to the drill, drill through it, and tap both sides. Okay, so what I've done is made it just deeper than the cap. So I don't want it to, uh, there's going to be a cross piece on there welded on. I don't want to, like, push past it or anything. I want to go in there, lock on that. We can put the bolts, you know, back in here. Uh, if we just go to the edge, like that, they'll be very close to the edge. So just for some more strength, uh, that's what we're going to do. So let me get this piece cut. Okay. And then cut the bird. Got to do a little bit of cleaning on the inside. Here's our test cap. It fits in there nicely. Boop. I'm going to take a piece of the steel. Weld it over the top. I know some of you are wondering why I don't just do a full cap. This is from knowledge. We're using tools like this. I want to have a place where you can push this through. And it can expel muck or rust or anything that might be in the tube with this cap. So this way... You can push it down and turn it and work some of that stuff out through here. And the key will get welded to here. And now, of course, I'll cut this and round it and make it all look all nice. And then, for the holes and stuff we drill, we don't have to be super within a thou or whatever because these caps, this one's made in Thailand, but the same one for everyone I've ever ran across, they're cast, first of all. And then they're very thickly coated with galvanized, galvanization stuff. So, you know, we take our caliper here. You know, right down, close as I can get it to go there. It's, you know, 255 thou. There side, as close as I can get it with how thick the coating is. Right there. 279. There's no measurement on this thing that is not probably 25, 30 thou off. So as long as it traps it and one of those bolts is hitting this, that'll be enough. Because they're, they're going to vary. They're cast and then they're hot dipped. So there's go across. I would put it against the tabs. Two inches, 743. Now, just on the other side of there. Oh, that's actually not bad for this one. 
So, you know, there's, we just need it to fit snugly and catch one of the bolts. So that is what we will do. So I'll cut that piece to length and we'll put down here. I'll measure up for the drill holes. I will cross drill it probably in one operation. I'll get a drill bit long enough to go through both of it. Uh, well, we will see. I think I'm going to put a half inch bolts in it too. Now, uh, turn the heads down on them. Because this whole thing is, the tubes these fit in, we have about an inch clearance on both sides. But the Lawson bolts I use, which I love, the heads are extra thick, so they're harder to round. So yeah, we'll get this cut. We'll get it. We'll this get this cut and get it welded on and everything, and then we'll uh, proceed with the drilling and the tapping. And then we're almost done with this. I'll bring it back. Okay, so I skipped ahead a bit. I got the plate welded on the back. The holes drilled, and I'm going to tap them. Now. Some of you might be thinking this thing looks a little a little rough and ready. That's because this is a prototype. They do not currently, there's no tool designed right now that does what this tool is going to do. So this is a prototype. So I'm making this one. We'll go test it a bunch. Because there's a couple caps that we know that are stuck on. And we'll make the necessary refinements in that to to uh see if we can correct what we need to so there's no reason to spend time chamfering edges and doing all that for what's going to essentially just you know it's just that it's the test piece and we will refine it as we need to so i'm i'm inventing this tool right now in front of you it just popped in my head as a way to do it Go. So yeah, the the finished model will look a lot nicer. Everything will be more exact and uh, you know, have a little more eye appeal. I guess is what I'm saying. There we go. Now let me real quick grab something. Okay, so the basics of the tool are done. I need to cut the bolts to length, do some work on there. So as you see, they go in, and then you probably only go in about that far. Um, we can make adjustments to catch the ears on this. I do snug it up a little bit on both sides. There. That seems like that will work. That tube was like the perfect size for that. I am going to cut the corners off this and dress it up a bit. So yeah. Let me get these finished up. And I'll show you the uh, end product. I'll bring you back. Okay. And we are done. I'm going to use, I got these set screws. I'm going to use these instead because they're narrower profile. So the prototype tool is completed. Now, I didn't pin it or anything because we're going to clean this off. And I think we're going to weld it to either a key, like I said, which is a big T handle, or maybe just a stub with a two inch knuckle. So you can put like a pipe wrench on it. But we'll do that in the field. So now it's, uh, it's next mission will be to go out and we're going to put the, uh, we're going to beat it as much as we can and see what the failure points are, any adjustments we need to make or anything like that. But I think it's going to work beautifully. Again, this is something I thought up in my head and I just made. So 
there's no exact dimensions or anything. It, it come out came out really nice. You know, everything's nice and centered and all that. This needs to be ran in. So yeah, very cool. Just quick little prototyping job in the shop. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.